Hello, welcome to another Saturday project presentation. Today we're going to learn how to build a glassmorphic effect in Photoshop. Okay, so this is a recent project I've done. I want to just show you around and we're going to pick the one we are going to be working on. Yeah, though this is a website and uh, all of these are mock-up presentations for the clients so they can show off and uh, make it easier for people to understand uh, what she stands for. This is a website designer like me too. So we created a mock-up for them to present their project. So today we are going to be focusing on this one, how to create this glassmorphic effect. You see this effect below here that makes it feel like it's a kind of glass that is overlaid on these uh, colors. That's what we're going to create today in Photoshop. And for the benefit of this, we are going to be creating a static glassmorphic effect style. So we're going to create a new layout. This 2000 times 2000 or 7 times 7 inches, but well, if this should be 2100 times 2100. So make sure your layout is not less than 2000, okay? Resolution 300, make sure it is an RGB, not a CMYK or grayscale. Then white, white is the background we want and uh, what else? Every other thing stays the same. Now you can change your title to glass morphic, okay? And we hit on create. So now we have the layout which we want to use for this. We need to uh, start creating this and see how we came up with this idea. So in order not to waste much of our time, we're going to copy the colors alone. Okay. So we now have the first layer of stuff as we need from there. And we may need the text, but a little while after now, we are going to be needing the text. So let's get in here and start creating our glass effect. So these are just two colors which you can create in any way. This could have a curved edges, it could have any style of whatever choice you want. Okay. So the idea for glassmorphic, I talked about glassmorphic effect in our tutorial for web designers where we practice on how to use it on backgrounds or hero section or headers. And I made you understand in that lesson that for a glassmorphic effect to be real, there must be a color or a colorful element behind it. So there must be an image behind this or a color behind this before you call that a glassmorphic effect. If you put a glass effect on it on an empty background, it won't prove any point. You won't understand what exactly transpired or what is happening there. So that's why we need a content or it to overlay on a colorful content so that we can decide the effect and uh, enjoy the feel. So now let's create the next layout. So we created the first layer, which is the content we want to, this could be a background. This could be a, uh, 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 maybe a gradient background here. Yeah. Glassmorphic also, glass, glassmorphic effect also work more with gradient background, but we are focusing on this particular type for today. So now we have this and we need to create the next layout. So you go into your tool over here then click option and then select on the rectangular tool. If you have the rectangular tool over here, you can still select it. It can be here. It can be here. So select on the rectangular tool and we drag above this line. You know, we want to create a box above this. Okay. And that box is going to have a certain color. We're going to set this color to be white. Let's, let's just select the color from here. Double click on this and then we set the color to white. Perfect. So starting up with white, we make you understand the background and how things work. Now, when we select on this color, we can reduce the opacity from this angle. So let's reduce the opacity a little so you understand what it feels like. So this is the starting point for glassmorphic effects. You need to reduce the opacity of the background that is being overlaid. Okay. So that if you are creating the effect, it will match perfectly well. So reduce the opacity to about 50% or 60% or thereabout. Let's just keep this at 60%. Oh, 60%. Let's reduce. The more you reduce the opacity, the more effect you're going to get. The higher the opacity, the lesser effect you're going to get. So you decide what exactly you want. But I'll try to make it a little bit different from the one we have previously. So uh, it's easy for us to decide. So fine. Now we need to start creating. Okay. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to select both the layout we created above and the layout beneath it. These two now layout the layout here and the layout here what we are going to do now is to duplicate this layout so click on ctrl j in your keyboard duplicate them so we have them duplicated as you can see from here these are duplicate version of the one we already have existing from the background okay now we have them duplicated what you need to do is to what 
click option in one of them right click there and match the layout okay right click and match the layout so look at what we did here we created these colors and we created a content above it we selected two color we duplicated it so we have we have eight colors and then one overlay but that eight color we selected four which is the first one above and we duplicated it okay now we have duplicated it we have it set above if you watch now we can't find the code of these numbers if we hide this one over here which is the one here if we hide it you see we have the code because it is actually overlaying on that other one you get the point now okay so now let's forget about the code we are going to come back to that in a little while so now let's create our effect that is just what you need to do once you do that you are almost done with the project so next thing you need to do is to head over <coughs> to this particular part that says filter click on it then click on blow and click on gas and blow so click on that and from gas and blow we can now adjust the opacity of the overall content so look at what we are adjusting opacity everything here is what we are adjusting opacity for everything there so you adjust the opacity till it feels good for what we want now one thing I will advise while you are doing this is this. I will suggest you hide all of the ones in the background because we are having an uh, overlay element there. Hide all of the ones in the background so that whatever effect you are giving to this one at the top, it will apply. And you are going to see or feel the effects so that whenever you are removing the other one in the background, it won't be a problem. So Gazin Blow, we increase the intensity. You see now we can now see the effect of the color we are doing from the background without the other one so now we got the intensity of what we want now we hit on okay okay now this is time we unhide these ones that we have hidden unhide all of them and from here we are going to do two things okay we're going to do two things one of which is we are going to select the elements which is the one above and we are going to delete everything that have to do with it starting from this particular point okay so to do that select on this uh this rectangular tool and we are going to select the top layer till we get to the point where this particular effect collides then we hit on delete now number two we can do here is uh delete the lower layer of these particular elements so we're going to select all of this okay possibly we can merge it to make it easier for us so merge layout and then select on this and from here we are going to cut out this area delete and we deselect perfectly done okay so we see we did we selected on this we deleted all of these from the bottom part and we selected on the glass mofic and we deleted all of it at the top part so we have created that effect and we have our concept ready to go we can select on all of this above then push them down a little so that they can the, the white line beneath here will be off see the white line we are getting there okay we want it to be closed down like this okay let me close down and we are good so as you can see effects what created very subtle so we have this effect flowing as though it is uh, something going on now if we want to reduce the effect or the impact of the effect you can further go down to reduce it but the more you increase it the more effect you're gonna See, the more color you're gonna see but the more you reduce the opacity the lesser effect you're gonna see so now you decide what effect you want to get from that particular uh style so now it's time we can then plug in our text and the rest of the things so select on this we select on this and select on this and select on this we move it down so you see uh you use white text here because it is more preferable to use white text on layout like this and then use black where necessary if you look our own here we have some purple effects more purple effect now let's take for instance that the background of what we are dealing with is pink or lighter pink let's see what we are going to do with that so we go with a little bit of lighter pink something like this i think good now what we are going to do from here we select on this layout this one over here we can select on the rectangular tool which we use in creating this before now and we strike a deal with this other layout okay and this color we are going to make it pink okay so pink that same color we have or but we are going to make it dark a, a more darker pink so that when we reduce the opacity it can now become that one we just left out now then pull this up a little pull it up a little then here we're going to reduce the opacity of the pink 
reduce opacity, reduce opacity. And see, we now have the pink, but make sure you, this other one, we have to make it 100% so that the colors will show very well from the background. So now we have a pink background with pink background with a pink overlay on the gradient. You see the pink overlay on the gradient because we don't need to do the uh, uh, glassmorphic effect on the pink anymore. You just have to do it in that one, then overlay it there. Okay, having a pink background and then having this effect, that's how we achieve this one. Having a purple, purple, uh, uh, glassmorphic effects and this. And if you can notice, the current one we made have more effect. The glassmorphic effect looks more nice and subtle than the previous one we have. The previous one we have, we have some shades here, which I really don't like. So why, what caused this thing was because I didn't delete the lower part of this particular element. As you can see, we didn't delete the lower part. So you decide how you want to work with it. Okay, if you like it this way, good. But if you don't want it to feel that way, you can thoroughly or totally delete every, remove all of those and then you have your glass effects applied. But make sure whatever color you use in the background is the same color you use. Just increase the color, then reduce the opacity a little and you get this effect. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want more of this lesson, you can hit on the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video if you actually enjoyed it and share to your friends if they actually will enjoy it too. Make sure to drink enough water, have your loved ones. We will meet in the next one. Once again, my name is Manny from Qatar Studios. Enjoy the rest of your day.